Now I have a lot of fragrances in my collection, but there are a few that I always go back to. So here are my most worn fragrances. Fragrance is something I absolutely love. Trying out some of the new releases, trying out some of the best sellers, the iconic ones, maybe some sort of niche and unknown brands. But there are a few that I always go back to that really form my fragrance wardrobe. Stuff that I feel comfortable wearing, stuff that I know, things that make me feel good. So I've got six here that I'm gonna go through, tell you why I love them and tell you how I wear them. Now if you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then hi, I'm Robin, this is Man From Self. Please do press subscribe right now and that bell button, it needs to be on. Press it right now. Okay, first up, we have up in Halligan's ones and this is Roaring Radcliffe. Now this is part of their portraits collection. Penhaligans are like a British institution and they've got some of their sort of standard Penhaligans fragrances. We had Halfetti Leather in a recent video. We also had Halfetti, but their portraits collection are this sort of animal family that they add on to, almost a bit like a, a Downton Abbey of fragrances. I thought this was naff. I didn't like it. I never tried any of them. And then I did. And I have fallen in love with this. Now this was released in 2016. This has got notes of rum, tobacco, and gingerbread. I've spoken a bit about those sort of gourmand, uh, sort of tasty fragrances before. Don't drink it. But um, this is different because although it's got those, those rum, to, uh, tobacco, not so much, rum and gingerbread notes, it's got a great weight to it and a great sort of grounding. This makes me want to sit in front of a fire, smoke a cigar, I don't smoke, and have a really great whiskey. It's so warming, it's great for those cooler months, but it's also so wearable. I think it's light and bright enough to be an everyday fragrance, but it's got gravitas, so I absolutely love it. Give it a sniff, seriously, one of the good ones. Okay, next on my list is a Joe Malone, and this is Joe Malone Black Cedarwood and Juniper. Joe Malone is one of those brands for me that I don't actually get that excited about. They have a new launch, a new release, and I feel a bit indifferent, but I always come back to them, so I'm, I'm clearly liking them. And I find that their fragrances are impactful, they do sit well on the skin, and I think they've got a really great sort of signature scent. This one is especially good, because it came from this rain collection, I want to say urban rain, but really it was about the different sort of scents of rain, and this was the nighttime one. Now this has got notes of cumin, juniper, and black cedarwood. So there is that spicy opening of the cumin, but it comes down to something deeper and darker with the black cedarwood. This has become one of my sort of go-tos because I find it so easy to wear. It really does sort of go with anything. And although I think because of those deeper, darker black cedarwood notes, it, it tends to go a little bit more autumn, winter, but you could wear it all year round. And there's definitely something super sexy and really seductive about this that I just keep on coming back to. Now guys, we know that with fragrance, we create this perfect wardrobe of stuff that we love the smell of, stuff that makes us feel good, but we also do it with the clothing that we wear. Now I'm really pleased to have partnered with Taylor Store on this video. I actually featured them back in May and the shirts that I've got have become style staples for me. Like fragrance, we wanna find something that fits us perfectly, and that's exactly what you do with them. You can download their Size Me app, put it against a wall, take a picture of yourself into their silhouette, input your height and your weight, and they will create the perfect fit of shirt for you. You can change the cuffs, the placket, so that's the bit down the front, the collar, the buttons, the stitching, you can even get it monogrammed, so everything can be completely customized to your taste. Now, I do have a great introductory offer for you. If you head to the link in the description below and use the code man for himself, you will get a dress shirt for only £35, down from £69, or £49 for a shirt from the luxury category, down from £89, plus free shipping. Now, the three shirts I've picked out are a classic white dress shirt. I've changed up the buttons actually to poppers. I thought I'd give it a go. I've also picked out this 100% linen shirt, huge linen fan, 
with a granddad collar. And then for my third one, it started off as a blue and white shirt, then I changed it up for a contrast white collar and cuffs. And then inside the collar, I thought I'd really go wild and add a little bit of a parrot detailing. Again, I will link everything in the description below. Back to the fragrance wardrobe. And this is one that I just got to know last year, but I am constantly wearing. Now this is Noir Eki and it's by L'Artisan Perfume. Now again, it's actually fairly similar to the Roaring Radcliffe by Penhaligans, but the difference in this one is that it's got these great coffee notes. On the top, you've got orange and chestnut, a heart of orange blossom, coffee, and maple syrup. And then in the bottom, you've got these really great warming sweet notes with vanilla, tonka bean, and sandalwood. I've spoken a lot about this one, so I, I won't labor it, but the story behind this is that they wanted it to smell like a French patisserie. So you've got these great sweet notes, but you've also got that coffee in there which I think is actually fairly romantic and it, it smells really very good. Okay, we're gonna go from something gourmand to something a little bit lavender. Now this is Lavender Extreme by Tom Ford. I featured this one in my uh, sort of new fragrances to try earlier this year, it was a new launch, and I was so sure I was gonna hate it. Lavender fragrances, sort of 70s powdery fragrances are not for me. I like something with heart. I like something with a great base, something that's gonna make an impression. But this, I've used quite a lot, is amazing. None of that whimsical stuff, something which just smells so great. Now there's actually three types of lavender in this. Two in the top and one in the heart. The two in the top, You've got one which is slightly more lively and playful, another one which has got a kind of amber facet to it, and the one which is in the middle has got these sort of green undertones. There's also carrot seed oil in this, supposedly. Uh, what does carrot seed smell like? Well, it should smell quite earthy, but they've taken those sort of earthy notes out of it. So what you're left is something which is initially very lively, loads of that lavender, but with that really great warmth that comes down to something which is slightly warmer and sweeter. I love this and I would definitely give it a shot. Actually, when I first reviewed it, I said, this could fast become my signature scent and it has. A big fan of this, definitely try it out. Okay, I'm gonna move on to something which is really pricey, but something that is amazing and that is Killian Gold. Night. Now, when they created this, they wanted something to smell like gold. And if I knew what gold smelled like, I would say it smells like this. Now, this has a top of anise and bergamot, a heart of honey and vanilla, and a base of patchouli. So, although you've got those sort of sweet honey notes and the liveliness of the bergamot at the top, you have something with great weight with the patchouli, which is a really sort of earthy scent. You can see this bottle has definitely been used. And actually I've got a large carafe now that I was gifted by Killian when I did the interview. And if you've not seen that, you can click it up there and check it out. He is super interesting. He talks so well about fragrance. I mean, it is his craft. He knows his stuff and it is an amazing brand. This is one that I just, I absolutely love. And I've had so many compliments about this. I actually put it into my, um, into my super sexy fragrances. It's just something that is so alluring, so seductive, so super sexy and beautiful. And again, just one that I reach for and feel so good in. If I could go out without wearing anything and just wear this, I'd be doing that. Okay, the final one is one that has featured like since the beginning of time for me. It became one of the ones that I sort of transitioned into fragrance with. I haven't always been into fragrance. I used to always wear Clinique Happy. That was literally my signature for 10 years. And then I started trying out fragrance, started trying all these back here. And Dunhill Icon Absolute was one of the fragrances that really took me into the world of fragrance. This is actually my fourth bottle of this. I certainly go through it. And I also had it in my most complimented. I actually said that every time I wear this, I have someone asking me what I'm wearing. And if they're not asking me, then they're certainly thinking it, honestly. It's an absolutely beautiful fragrance and you'll actually see a bit of a theme in this. I definitely go for those sort of tobacco-y, oudy fragrances that 
just really do pack a punch. Now in this, you've got notes of bergamot and black pepper, a heart of saffron, black rose and jasmine, and a base of oud, tobacco oud, and leather. Really, what you've got there is something a bit kind of like the killing there, so something a bit lively, a bit punchy in the top, but that comes down, that is actually really very good. I always forget how much I love this, but something that comes down to something a little bit deeper and darker. And this is just so gorgeous. I think it works so well for an evening event. I think it works so well to be sitting with a robe on and just loving life with a bottle of champagne. It is so, so good. And I can't stress enough how sort of super sexy and seductive it is. It smells absolutely amazing. And it's definitely my favorite from Dunhill. So there you go. Those are my six. Oh, it also sounds really good. That's supposed to actually sound like the door of a car when it shuts. There you go. But those are the six. I have got them all on manfromself.com. We're actually up to about 70, maybe even over 70 fragrances on there with some of the best prices around and also reviews. And you guys can leave your review on that too. Also do check out Taylor Store. I do have that introductory offer. Get the prices down, try them out and get a shirt that fits perfectly into your style wardrobe. But thank you again for watching. If you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then please do press subscribe. The button is just there. There's also more videos, so I've got too much fragrance going on. There's also more video suggestions down there, if you think about lightheaded. A link to the fragrance page is there. My Instagram and a link to the videos I've been talking about up there. But I'll see you in my next new one. Bye-bye.